Look, man, a lot of you wrestling fans, y'all need a fucking reality check. When it comes to this Sasha Banks shit, y'all really need a reality check. See, this is why I'm not a huge fan of women's wrestling. It's it's becoming very SJW. Every year, it gets worse and worse with this entitlement. Women's wrestling, they are they are more entitled than the fucking men. Let that sink in. It's like every little thing the women have to have it to, or everything has to be treated equally. It's like, nah, man, by that logic, we should be treating the WNBA just as important as the NBA. But we can't because the WNBA don't draw. So why should we pay close attention to the WNBA if they don't draw like the fucking men? But that's not the point. Look, man, I, I'm hoping that this Sasha Banks walkout shit is a huge work. It has to be a work. I'm hoping it's a work. If, if it's not a work, her reputation would just go down the drain. Let's hope for her sake this is a huge work it's like man see this is why people don't like Joe Gacy when it comes to his character his character hits too close to home his gimmick is based on a SJW Twitter gimmick that's what he is the majority of wrestling fans are Joe Gacy but you dumbasses don't see it (laughs) that's the crazy part Look in the mirror. You are Joe Gacy. The fact that there's people that are on Sasha Banks' side. Like, wow. You're on her side? So it's fine to just to just walk off, off your job, right? That's fine. To be unprofessional. To just walk off your job. Is that what we're doing now? Just to protect our favorite fucking wrestlers? You guys are fucking losers, man. Now I see why most of y'all suck at your job. Now I see why y'all got too much time on your hands because maybe y'all get fired all the time from your jobs because y'all fucking suck at it. That's very un- unprofessional, especially in wrestling. It's like, what more do you want? This one is a three-time women's tag team champion. It gets to the point where... I hope the WWE has learned their lesson. Never make this Sasha Banks chick a tag team champion ever again. Never do it. She is a three-time tag team champion. And, dude, two out of her three reigns, she has done the same thing. Walk off the damn job. Complain. Bitch and cry. Off of a booking decision you didn't want to work with two particular females that sounds familiar you didn't want to work with the iconics it's like what the hell's going on here bitch be professional what are you doing here see I, i'm hoping this is a work i'm hoping these girls are gonna turn heel and this is all a work it has to be a work man this is just uncalled for. If you are a fan of wrestling, how can you be on her side? Now, let me hit you with a fucking reality check. If you say the women's tag team title should be treated just as important as the men, then you are a fucking dumbass. You are a, you're an idiot. You are a SJW. If you think that, Bruh, last time I checked, um, the Usos, they lose every fucking week. In fact, um, how is this for irony? They lost on Monday Night Raw. <laughs> Jimmy Uso, like, he lost against Matt Riddle. Let that sink in. Dude, go back. It's on, it's on Google. Google it. Google who lost the most times in 2021. 
I'm, I'm, I, I dare you. Google it. Google which WWE wrestler took the most pins. It's going to say Jay Uso. It's going to say Jimmy Uso. Hmm. That's weird. Um, aren't they the longest ranked tag team champions in SmackDown history? And yet they always lose. But do they care? No. So by your logic, you're saying they need to treat the tag team titles for the women as just as important as the men. Okay, um, how come the Usos lose every fucking week? How come they're always taking pins? By your logic. See, I'm the logic king here. I will always shut you down, man, when it comes to a wrestling conversation. I will just throw you, I will just throw you with facts. On facts, on facts, on facts. So you're telling me those titles should be treated as just as important as the men, even though the Usos are supposed to be the best tag team in the world, but they keep losing every week. So what kind of care are you talking about that they give to the men? If if anything, you can make the argument, they treat the women tag team titles more prestigious than the fucking men. Huh? Because last time I checked, Sasha and her tag team partner, Naomi, um, they always win. Ever since they won those titles, they always win. In fact, ever since they teamed up, they always win more than the Usos. So who is the bigger crybaby here? The fans or Sasha? I mean, what more do you want? In fact, you are bugged better than... <laughs> how, is this, how, is this, how is this fucking irony? Sasha and Naomi are actually bugged better than the fucking Usos when it comes to winning on TV. And no, the women tag team title shouldn't, shouldn't be more important than the fucking men. I don't know what planet you're on. What kind of history do those titles have more than a men? No women's tag team titles should be more important than a fucking men. And then no, they should not be equal either. They should not be equal. Those titles are fucking mid-card titles. Those women tag team titles should not feel more important than the men. But guess what? Let's go, let's go back to Carmella and um Vega. They actually won more matches than the fucking Usos. They didn't lose that many matches more than the Usos. Are the Usos bitching? Are they walking off? Are they complaining that they are lackeys for their cousin? They always lose. Every main event, they always lose, man. <laughs> And they are tag team champions. So, fuck you in your narrative of they should treat the women tag team titles more important than the men. What? Aren't they doing that now? Dude, they won their match last week against, uh, what's her name? Um, Dewdrop and, um, Nikki Ash. Dude, they won their match last week against those girls. But the Usos, they keep losing. Once again, by your logic. Who, which titles feel more important? If anything, those women tag team titles feel more important than the fucking men. Because why come the Usos always lose? Come on, man. The fuck are you talking about? You over here complaining about creative. What creative can you complain about? Dude, these are the women tag team titles, man. What planet are you on? They should not be more booked better than the fucking men. Men draw money. Men wrestlers draw money for the WWE. It will always be the way. It will never change. Let's keep it that way. It will never change. Like, fuck this equal opportunity bullshit. Okay, let's let's cut it out. Because 
the fucking main event of Raw was Becky and Asuka. Can can AEW say that? Dude, look, actually, for, for the past couple of months, I've been seeing a lot of women main events on Raw. Let me say that again. I've been seeing a lot of women main events on Raw lately. I mean, a fucking um, Bel Air, she always made events. <laughs> she always made events. Becky, she always made events. And man, look, man, I really hate fans that say Sasha Banks and Naomi, they deserve better. What kind of better are you talking about? They are champions. Once again, I'm going to tell you again. The damn Usos lose every week. The women tag team champions are booked better than the Usos, man. Like, all I see are women main events on Raw now. That's all I'm saying. Dude, if Sasha retired right now, she would be a Hall of Famer. It's like she might be one of the most overhyped female wrestlers of all time, man. Seriously. It's like she was the main event of last year's WrestleMania. So what are we talking about here? You're saying she deserves better. Oh, so she shouldn't have put over Bel Air at last year's WrestleMania? What kind of better are you talking about? And what a huge mistake that the WWE made. Why did they give this chick her her own heel evil series? They gave her her, her own heel documentary series. Dog, she is the most overrated heel of all time. I've been watching her for like for the past like five years, man. What heel tactic? has she done that says wow she's a fucking heel dude she's one of the worst heels in the business why would you give her her own documentary on Ben Hill she is what not to be as a as a heel she's awful she is the she is the worst overrated heel ever in wrestling history what heel tactic does she do that impresses you like huh She's an awful heel. Past five years, man, she's mostly been a face more than a heel. Dude, every time she turns heel, the crowd doesn't boo her. They don't hate her. They cheer her. They don't want to boo her. It's like she is not a heel. She don't say any heel shit. Bruh. Lacey Evans, Charlotte Flair, Bailey. The list goes on and on. The women who are way better heel. Her fucking Dr. Britt Baker. Way better heel. Like, like what? Like, like, how is she a great heel? All these years, I'm always hearing about Sasha Banks. Oh, she's a great heel. No, she is not. She's awful. Her promos as a heel are just bland and awful. How is she a great heel? Look, man, there's a reason why when they finally broke up Bailey and Sasha back when they were heel tag team champions, look, there's a reason why they turned Sasha into a face and kept Bailey heel because Bailey was the better heel. What does that tell you? She's awful as a heel. Uh, what's her name? Bliss, way better heel. It's like, bro, she's a bony, skinny girl, man. Who is she? Who could she possibly intimidate? I never took her seriously as a heel. She's awful. I'm saying it's like when she was beefing with uh, Bel Air last year. That was an awful feud. <laughs> Nobody took her seriously as a heel. So please stop saying she's a great heel. She's awful. She is really bland. Like, that's all people want to remember was the night she made that little girl cry. I'm like, dude, that little girl that she made cry was a mark. 
she was a young kid who was a super mega mark for wrestling in terms of she thought this shit was real <laughs> like so bruh anybody could have made that girl cry Charlotte Flair could have made her cry Shayna Baszler could have made her cry Lacey Evans could have made her cry bruh she's a damn kid <laughs> like huh Eddie Hill can make a little girl cry if they really try Ronda Rousey could have made that could have made that girl cry how is she a great heel seriously how I could have made that little girl cry <laughs> Like, what are we talking about? So, yeah, she is a overrated heel. Like, what has she done as a heel? Hence why they always switch her back to a face on the main roster. On the, on the main roster so far, she has been a face 90% of the time. So, how is she a great heel? She's awful. This, this is when I washed my hands of Sasha as a heel. Last year's WrestleMania. This chick was crying. She was. She had tears in her eyes. She was crying before the match started with her and and Belair. Her and Belair. Her and Belair were uh, crying before the bell rung. Um. Okay. If you are a heel, why are you crying with your opponent before the bell rung? You ain't no fucking heel. I can't see. I can't see. Um. Reigns. Crying with Brock Lesnar before the bell rung. Okay, that's all I'm saying. I can't see Lashley crying with Drew McIntyre before the damn bell rung. That's what she was doing last year. So how are you a heel? So I'm saying nobody takes her seriously as a heel. What? What has she said that's very heel? Like, oh, she, she's a great heel, huh? No way. Bruh, Shawn Michaels was not this bad. See, Shawn Michaels, he was an asshole. He put, he played backstage politics. Sasha is just a damn crybaby mark. Shawn Michaels wasn't 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 no mark. Sasha was Sasha is a mark for herself. Shawn Michaels, he was just he was he was an asshole. That's all. He was just an asshole who thought he knew better. But he I don't think he was like a cry baby compared to Sasha. Sasha, she's she's bad. She thinks she's she thinks she's Ronda Rousey. She thinks she's fucking uh Flair. It's like dude, fucking fucking Becky Lynch is not this bad. It's like, this chick is very entitled. It's like, wow, man. It's like, you are tag team champions. It look, once again, those tag team titles are booked pretty fucking well. It's like, people need to realize. They don't book the, the fucking men's tag team titles all that good. So what made you think you have the entitlement to be booked better than the fucking Usos? You don't have that kind of entitlement. Like, get the fuck out of here. And some dumbass said, why would you put Naomi in the bloodline? What is she going to do in the fucking bloodline? I'm like, huh? Like, that's like saying, what is Rhea Ripley gonna, gonna do with Edge and Priest? Like, huh? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Um, bruh, her husband is in a faction with his family the bloodline why wouldn't she be in that group knowing that Roman Reigns wants her in the fucking group she thinks it's awkward that she's not in the damn group so why wouldn't she be in the, like dog no, why would you say what is she going to do in the group um when championships dumbass beat fucking Ronda Rousey or beat Bianca Belair that's what she's going to do <laughs> like what the fuck She's going to beat Ronda Rousey or Bel Air for the fucking title. That's what she's gonna do. She think her ass gonna be in that group without a fucking title. You think she's gonna be in that group to embarrass the bloodline by not winning? It's like, bro, that would change her career if she was in the bloodline. But now she she fucking fucked it up. She fucked it up. 
I truly believe she was going to be in the goddamn bloodline. She was going to turn on Sasha. And that was going to be the feud for this summer. She was going to turn on Sasha. But she fucked it up now. She fucked up her promotion. By being brainwashed by cry baby Sasha. You saw what Sasha did with Bailey. She she fucking she fucking brainwashed her. You saw what the young bucks did with Cody. They fucking brainwashed Cody. To the point where Cody got booed. <laughs> to the point where Cody got booed in AW. Because Cody hung out because Cody hung out with a bad crowd. And that changed him as a person. That's what that's what got him booed. He became kind of arrogant once he got with the Bucks. Then once he left the Bucks, he he went back to being Cody Rhodes, which is a down to earth guy. Sasha, is, she's a bad influence, man. And she fucked and she fucked up the plans for Naomi, man. She was supposed to be in the fucking bloodline. That was the goal. That was the plan. Because she wanted to be in the fucking bloodline. Now it's fucked up. Now it's all messed up, man. She was going to be a heel champion with a damn bloodline. Now she fucked it up. Man, I really hope Sasha goes to AEW, man. I really hope so. I really hope she goes to AEW, man, so she can get humbled. So I can see her on AEW Dark, just like Keith Lee. I want her to be humbled, man. <laughs> she needs to go to that company so badly. She needs to see how good she has it in her current company, man. She needs to see how good she has it. Because, cause, girl, it's, it, it ain't better in AW. It's not better. It will not be better. You will get a rude awakening in AW. She needs to see her ass needs to get humbled in, in in AW. She needs to see how careless Tony Khan treats that women's division. She needs to get humbled, man. It ain't all good in AW, man, especially as a female. They don't give a flying fuck about Thunder Rosa. What makes you think they're gonna care about your ass? <laughs> and no, Tony Khan is not gonna put up with any with any goddamn crybabies. He will put you on dark. <laughs> okay? That's all, awesome. I'm I'm done. <laughs>